we just click wild charge here for a massive amount of damage. If we kill with crit, that's also fine. But that doesn't mean that Electros gets saved, unfortunately. There it is. We should never be dead to crit. We might die to recoil. It doesn't really matter. It's all the damage that we need. Thanks for the help, man. Honestly, the game can't hurt me anymore. One, because everything here is good, and two, because no matter what I get here, I'm gonna wipe anyway, so... I'm invincible. I don't give a shit what it throws at me now. Of course. Okay! It's good! It's really good! That's one of the best mons in the game! That is incredible! That's really, 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 really good for us! Serious? That's neutral. That's good. I think it's always the same... Oh, it's, so it's clear body, not infiltrator? I feel like that's probably better, right? Let's see the IVs. Oh, <laughs> zero attack! <laughs> it's 27 speed, one scale goat. Is He's a one scale goat. Morning, gamers. What happened to travel plans? I'm still going, I just have another work day to do. The goal today is I'm gonna stream long. If I can make it, I, w I would really like to get through Aqua Gauntlet Empire, but I don't know if I can do that. Definitely defeating all the random trainers in Pyre. That's for sure. Normal type baby. It's Shrimple. Oh, but we got baby dual type too, so maybe we go Azuril there. Nah, I think we definitely go Azuril here because people forget it's normal type. Normal type legendary, easy type nil. 16. Psychic Ghost. We've been over this. Necrozma Dawn. 16? Psychic Baby. Mime Junior, but we can do that for dual type here too. But what's the other Psychic Baby? Let's do Ghost dual type for an easy Gorgeist real quick. Dual type Legendary. What's the legend? I think I think I'm just gonna go with the old trusty Latios Mega here, and then we can go Latios Mega for legendary psychic. Who's the other psychic baby though? Oh, Smoochum. Why not? Why not is like never picked anywhere. And then dual type baby, we go Mime Junior. That feels not great score wise. 130 out of 150, never mind, we killed it. Holy Yeah, not a lot of good picks this time. We hit a lot of Terra Pago Stellar. What the f is that? There's three Terra Pagos types? I don't even understand. Okay, sure. Hit this Hoopa for dual type ghost, apparently. Gorgeist, the Gorgeist meta is catching on, guys. I'm sorry to say. Zuril and Why Not were the good picks, though. I think we did really well on the babies. Mini crossword. I already did all the other dolls offline. It's like always the first thing I do after I wake up. After I have been jerk off. All right, let's get to work. We got a lot to do today, so let's let's just get into it, right? Do we have any chance of being Mount Pyre? Yeah, for sure. It's just about maximizing the chance. It generally, I'm pretty sure if I just lead like Grand Bull, take some kills, have it eventually die, cuss at Barry Boom Camel and then have like a Heracross or something to navigate the end game, that probably gives us like a, in, in my head, probably like a 65% chance of winning or something. You work out lately, you look good. I've been going rock climbing, but I'm probably not building any muscle from that. I have lost like 10 pounds since the start of the year. Bait. Fast kill Del Fox flamethrower. We go bear a skeezy. Where 
for Ross Berry for burn. We liquidate. We bait Umbreon slow kill. No need to flip turn. All right, time to show them. I didn't actually. I don't actually need to Mega for this at all, but uh, I thought we might as well show it off for the first time. Mega Heracross really isn't as good as it seems. You lose speed. You mainly gain like defense. You gain attack, but you lose guts and you lose your held item slot. Um, and yeah, pin missile five hit is more damage than X Scissor by quite a bit, but you're not boosting like your close combat damage, for example. Anyway. Look at him. At least we get to show him off before we wipe on the Archie fight. Skill link, obviously. Beautiful. Heracross is catching up in uh, frags. I think it's I think it's already like top ten or something. I don't think the list is updated right now. He is top ten, I think. Top nine. Yeah. Every Pokemon that reaches about like forty frags just stops get stops getting used <laughs> at some point. Rapidash still up there. It's it's the it's the Rapidash rule. The Rapid Ash effect. This was the infographic last time. At this point, Torterra 80 kills. And a Staraptor in second with 69, then Sendiscorch with 55, then immediate drop off to Togedomaru with 37. This time, Torterra with a lot less. Um, and then Mian Shao with a lot less than Staraptor. And then it's like super split. Between like second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth place, all around the 40 mark. Meganium also approaching 40, Excadrill approaching 40, Heracross approaching 40. Pretty even stuff. But yeah, obviously there's some um, weight issues with this, or some uh, early game like weight stuff, because Rapidash has so many kills just because it killed like 17 of the free trainers, right? Me and Xiao was our, was our um, Flannery split carry for sure. Ever since that split, me and Chow hasn't really shown up anymore, but... Do you play the next roguelike Pokemon game? I don't think so, man. I don't actually think it looks that... interesting. I don't know, if I want my roguelike itch scratch scratched, I'd just play Balotro. And if I want to play Pokemon, I'll just play Run and Bun. I don't really see the need to... Like, the, the obvious answer is, do I want to play it for content? And the answer is, no, I don't give a sh**. Two whole years of the best news locker there is. I was until Pokero gets cease and desisted. Are they uh, making money? Are they like, no rocks by the way. Are they, um, do they have like monetization? Yeah, then they're probably not gonna get cease and desisted. Perfect. Doesn't go hit Monly because we have damage. This doesn't see kills, but we're poisoned, so it can't hip uh, hypnotize on this switch.
No spadef drops. Or chesto in case this is hypnosis. I believe this is always close combat. This has a normal gem and unburden, but we're just going to prevent him from ever using a normal move. Um, this is now always going to use knockoff because it's the only way it can hit Basque Legion, so we can safely go to Mian Xiao. Happy 2.5 years, BB. Thank you. I should have put an item on Mian Xiao for the swag. Anyway, we acro. Didn't need to quit there, obviously. On these random ass single trainers, this box feels pretty powerful. Any serious plans for a new garbage green? Yes! We are loosely working on something. I've probably talked about it already. But, um... No need to spoil it. New Game Plus is a bit of a misnomer in this game. The way that people have been doing it is they um, run it back, but all the encounters from the previous attempts are dupes. Um, so it's just harder. Most notably, you don't get a life orb because you don't get cast form and you don't get Urshifu. Overgrower, Leaf Storm, we've seen it a million times. Always bait Tenacruel, outspeed and KO Veno Shock. Go to Gallade. Z4 beatable without Shifu. One person's done it. Dexa's done it. Who developed the game? <laughs> I should have gotten Lumberry. I don't think it really matters, but never did a crit. This is a range, but we have Shadow Sneak. It's always the ACL on right because he outspeeds. Yeah. And Heracross is never dead to crit. Have you missed Meganium Poison Powder at all? Not at all, no. So far, not at all. Speed and kill. No mega here because I needed Aspir Berry. Another two frags for Heracross. He is catching up fast. I think he just passed- Oh no, Meganium also got a frag here, so... I think he's tied with Meganium right now. I don't know if the frag sheet is updated for Rival or not. Yeah, Mega Heracross is probably just too niche. You lose so much, you lose your item slot, I don't know. The item slot is really big. If you didn't get a game corner for Heracross, what would you, what would you have delayed for? I mean, probably the Mythical after Batch 8, right? Or just whatever... The, the, the way that... Casino is supposed to be used, I'm pretty sure, or not supposed to be, but like, the way to think about it is to, if you're missing something for a fight, you need to think about if you can get something from Casino that can help you. Um, I kind of wish Dexa leaned more into that. There is some stuff that works that way, like the post-Watson ones do sometimes help with Norman a little bit, um, and stuff like that, and like the... And like the Tauros and Miltank can help you with like CRR. I wish it was a little bit more leaned into like that. Um, 
where you were a little bit more guaranteed to get something that helps you with an upcoming fight. But like, this Heracross could have not been Guts or it could have just been a Pinsir, so... And then we probably would not be here. We almost definitely would have wiped at some point. Let's check it for Metal Coat real quick. Okay, and we're faster, right? Greninja is like single digit IVs in speed and special attack. Of course. What else would it be? Should be Breloom. Always sees fast kill with Force Palm. Pre burn Sigilith can't get paralyzed. He has Focus Ash, so he doesn't see that I have Fast Kill, so he can Bullet Seed here. But it should be fine with, um... With Citrus Berry. Flinch, maybe? One time? You're insane. Psycho Boost Kill for the stats? It doesn't matter, we're always baiting Frost Ash anyway. We get Mock Punched once. Plus speed Greninja with Life Orb, outspeeds and kills this. Can't be frozen by Blizzard and is never dead to Blizzard crit. Okay, we show fast kill on Raichu, so this should be a Grim Snarl, like random move. But I think the, this Grim Snarl stuff looks really wonky. But I think Salazzle actually just kind of hard counters it, no matter what move it goes for here. I think this can be Sucker Punch, this can be Play Rough, or this can be Body Press. But we deal with all of them by just using Encore. That's fine. That's one Sucker Punch PP. We kind of got to count here. It's a little bit important. Okay, so we have to kill this with Toxic now, which is a little bit annoying. Two Sucker Punches. He should have five. It's not in first slot. Three. Okay, that's fine. Just kill him now. Cool. What move is this from Raichu? This is Thunder or Psychic. We pivot through XCOM. We can just try to get the kill with Excadrill. But uh, Poisoned Kecleon is in the back for backup. I think we just try to dodge the Sing and kill with Excom. Yeah. Unless this is like drop. Um, I mean we're not dead to crit, right? 155 is highest roll. We should be fine to just Earthquake. Spadef drop, crit. Easy. Sorry for denying Keckley on the, uh, the kill. I gotta balance all the frags on, like, the top 10 mons right now. They're all in competition. 
We're going fast, boys. I think this next fight is kind of demon. That was four fights in two hours. Not bad. Pretty good. That's that's world record pace, I believe. <laughs> PGL stream world record pace. Okay, so we got Focus Ash, Omastar, Makalola, Carnival. You know what? This fight is actually probably pretty free, huh? I don't know if that's my med timer or my laundry timer. I believe that that's my laundry timer. In that case, I gotta go uh, attend a spinning class real quick. I'll be right back. Do you think Nuzlocks have evolved so much have and have become so hard that viewing experience has dropped off? Like the staring at calculators isn't fun, but I'm an idiot who knows nothing. It's just a different kind of game. This is just like kind of the necessary conclusion if you use calculators and you know everything about the game. If you don't want calculators, you gotta play like a randomizer, right? If you want optimized gameplay. Like the whole point of the super hard Nuzlocke is to play as good as possible and optimize as possible. And the two ways to do that is either you have full information and then you calc. And if you don't have full information, the only way to achieve that is by like randomizing. Um, and there's just no good randomizer right now that is actually fun to Nuzlocke, so. I understand that like the staring at calculator thing isn't for everyone, but it's on us to make it interesting, I guess. And like the finished product is really cool and interesting. And you, the the only way to get like these really cool and interesting lines and cool like puzzle solutions and stuff like that, is to do it this way. And that's a like that's a cool experience in of its own, right? Like it's a, I always describe it as like a roguelike puzzle game. Like I think the closest that exists in like the real gaming market is something like um into the, uh, into the breach, because it's not like it's like from the beginning solved because there's so much randomness with like the encounters that you get and stuff like that and like in, in battle RNG as well. Um, yeah. It's just a puzzle solving game. I enjoy it, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Do you think crits add to the gameplay or take away from it? They definitely add. Having to play around crits is like really important. Uh, and like risk assessment and stuff like that. Because they add this element where like sometimes you have to take a risk to achieve a certain goal, right? Like you can play around most crits, but if it's a game with 400 fights that are all really hard eventually, you're gonna have to risk some crits and make the decision on where you need to risk those crits is, like, that's fun, that's interesting. And it leads to, like, hype moments. Like, just look at how, like, important and strong battle armor and shell armor Pokemon are in these games, right? They completely warp how you can play it. And, uh, if there were no crits, you would have to, you could, like, play extremely defensively. Especially with, like, attack lowering, Intimidate would become, like, the best ability in the game and stuff like that. Alright, we're gonna do something really cool here. Um this button we're going to so this is focus sash weak armor omastar we're going to mega evolve pin missile this is the first time that mega heracross has actually been useful the normal heracross could not do this because not only do we break the focus sash every pin missile hit will proc weak armor meaning that this will actually kill because he'll get a defense drop every single time this pin missile hits um it's kind of cool Is this your first time megaing in this game? Uh, well, we used Mega Heracross earlier, but also I used uh, Mega Blastoise once in attempt two on one of the Pyre Grunts. Oops, that did not kill. I thought that that would kill. To be fair, I didn't really calc it. Um, it's fine. Was that four hits? I was gonna say. Interesting. I mean, it's fine. I'll keep playing here. Um. If a Pokemon skilling use a multi-attack move against a Pokemon with weak armor skilling does not work. So I got I actually got pretty lucky there that I hit four times at all. I mean, obviously this isn't plausible because it's in the bug list. I guess I should have read. Uh, like the only thing, oh, wait, this is max speed now. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I'm not dead to anything. This is awkward. If it's another layer of spikes, it starts getting a little bit scary, especially because I have no muck answer. I mean, yeah, obviously I'm not closing it. I'm not dead to anything, 
but this makes the muck thing awkward if this attacks me now. I think we're fine. We have so much defense. Poison Jab crit is 42%. Poison is going to make it awkward though. And it's probably going to poison. My skill link is going to work now, right? It's not like permanently disabled. I'm not dead to crit poison, I don't think. I, I died to two poison ticks is the problem. I mean, what's my, what's my counterplay? I think I have to attack this turn. And then just see how the damage pans out. There is a way we lose Heracross here, by the way. We can potentially kill with that crit? I don't think so. We need another one here. Okay. Don't do it. Zoinks. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All right. This doesn't have pursuit. It's the, it's the, spiritum in the back. Um. This is random move. I cannot go into Basque Legion. Fuck. I can't go into like anything. So Grand Ball's dead to Poison Jab. Crit. Or Max Roll plus Stealth Rocks. Blaziken isn't dead to anything. Salazzle is dead to Payback plus Rocks. Kecleon is dead to Brick Break Crit or Poison Jab Crit plus Rocks. And Basculegion is dead to Payback plus Stealth Rocks. I have to go... Blaziken. Oh, Payback is unboosted on Switch, right? Switching in does not count as an action. So Basculegion is safe here. But with Basculegion we have to think about... Spiritomb Pursuit. Except we don't because it'll bait Carnivine, right? We go Basque Legion here, I think. Okay. Don't poison, maybe? It'll probably poison. It's fine. We take the kill. We bait slow kill Carnivine. I think we're gonna be okay. this gonna bait? I think Spiritomb. Jesus f I mean I calc that. I was never dead to crit with Stealth Rocks. We always kill with Overheat. This is never Pursuit. Because we're always dead to Shadow Ball. But now Grand Bull is in danger. Because Shadow Ball crit plus Stealth Rock damage plus Life Orb Recoil can kill it, I think. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. That's completely fine. Okay, we're not out, but we're pretty okay. Yeah, if I'd gotten two hit from Hera, I would have actually been in so much trouble. 
But it wasn't going to be dead, right? But the it would have been really rough if I hadn't gotten four hit there. I got super saved by RNG. Anyway, life or play rough kills here. There's only Dusclops left. Um, if this is Shadow Punch... I think if it's Power Up Punch, I'm maybe fine. Oh man, this is still really spooky. Show me Will-O-Wisp. Please. Stealth Rock damage hurts so much. That's so good. Holy sh**. <sighs> I think we're fine now. Encore Salazzle has been vital in the survival of this attempt. Another riskless fight. Oh no, guys. Heracross is going to die to overworld poison. Psych. Okay. We'll engage in some light trickery in this fight. Torrent Surf will always kill this. So, I show fast kill to Lycanroc. Nothing has fast kill on me. Um, Infernape has slow kill on me, and it has a focus sash, so I don't have fast kill on him, which the AI sees. So this is Infernape, and it should always be Vacuum Wave. AI for switch in doesn't see fast kills with priority moves, but for the actual move selection it does. So it sees it as fast kill with Vacuum Wave here, so it's always going to click it. We're going to go to Araquanid to full wall this special Infernape, and because we're full walling it, we can take some time here. We're gonna sticky web first, um, so as not to put him into um, blaze. I guess the correct line is sticky web, lunge, and then liquidation. If we lunge first, he can't nasty plot turn two. So I think we lunge first, because then we show slow kill, yeah. Okay, he nasty plotted anyway. We're going to be taking some damage here. But I think it should be fine. It's a lot of damage. Okay, um, okay, there's a little bit of an issue. We're always dead to Excel Rock. The problem is if this is Grass Not Crit, we're never dead, but we go really low, which means it can be Crunch on the switch to Breloom, which should be fine. It should never be close combat because we have Citrus Berry. Okay, this is perfect. Good thing we kept Liquidation <laughs> over Leech Life. Okay, Sticky Web up. He sees Fast Kill with Lycan Rock. So no Stealth Rocks here. We go to Breloom, who is faster after Sticky Web. Take a little bit of damage, perfect, because now we're dead to close combat from Polyrath. We never show fast kill. We, we will probably take another XL rock here, but it's completely fine. We sky uppercut. Oh, he didn't XL rock. Okay, this should always be Polyrath. This is double team Polyrath scary, but we're showing him a kill, so should be fine. 
So now this is always close combat. We go here. We tank. He goes minus one. And the Leaf Storm always kills from here. This can Swords Dance now, but it doesn't matter. We simply, no matter what move he uses here, we go to Sigilyph and we always outspeed and kill with Psycho Boost. Add another one to the list. Very nice. Cute fight. Three more trainers until the gauntlet. Okay, so the puzzle in this fight is kind of the Malamar in the back, but also the Destiny Bond Miss Magius. That's like the main thing. Um, this is going to look really weird, but trust me here. Okay. So we're going to abuse some AI shenanigans here. We're going to start with a fake out. Life Orb boosted. So, after this Life Orb chip... Kangaskhan always sees that it's dead to Drain Punch and I'm faster. It's not actually always dead to Drain Punch, though. This is a range. But because it doesn't see any kills on me, and I have a fast kill on him, he has to click Sucker Punch this turn because priority moves are boosted if AI is dead to your fast kills, okay? Assuming he doesn't have any kills on you, which he doesn't. So I'm not going to click Drain Punch here. Um, because the problem is, if I miss this range, and then he sucker punched me again, I would be at a HP that doesn't bait what I want him to bait. Instead, what we're going to do, on this sucker punch, we're going to take a free switch to Beriskuda. Trust the AI here. He can't double edge. He's not going to double edge. Trust the AI. Perfect. And now, with Black Belt, close combat actually always kills. He's going to probably Sucker Punch again, but that's completely fine. He did not Sucker Punch. It's all good. We kill. Beautiful. And now, with Dropped Spadef and everything, we should be baiting Miss Magius. Now we have to outmaneuver these Destiny Bonds. It's a lot more annoying than you think. We It took a long time. So this is Energy Ball or Shadow Ball. We need him to take a little bit of Life Orb Chip. We're going to go into Araquanid to confirm either Shadow Ball or Destiny Bond. And get the guaranteed Life Orb Chip. That's completely fine. Crit, completely fine. He takes the Life Orb Chip, that's all we needed. This is Shadow Ball or Destiny Bond. It should not be any other moves. It shouldn't be Mystical Fire because I don't have any special moves. And we're going to see <clears throat> some technology for the first time that we've never seen before. <sighs> so we go to Greninja. That's completely fine. And we're going to fling a King's Rock, guaranteeing a flinch. King's Rock is a viable item, so we don't invest anything. We fling, he flinches, Destiny Bond... No longer works after flinch. We had a discussion about this in chat, but this is actually how it works. So we're faster. We fling the King's Rock. He's going to flinch. Destiny Bond no longer active. And after Life Orb Chip, we always kill with Dark Pulse. I really hope that, Life Orb, that Destiny Bond does work this way, but I'm pretty sure it does. And all of this setup is so that we can now bait in Malamar. K. 
Okay. Pretty much guaranteed to superpower. I think there's a small chance he can substitute, but it shouldn't matter. Catch the superpower with Basque Legion. So he doesn't get the contrary boost. Alright, and now this is Substitute or Night Slash, both of which is completely fine. We go to Heracross. This way we guarantee that he's never plus one, plus one when Heracross comes out. And now we Mega and we Pin Missile. We're never dead after the Mega Evolution with the Defense Boost. We're never dead to Psycho Cut Crit. And if he boosts his defense with superpower, he's still going to die. And if he substitutes, he's still going to die. Completely fine. Let's hope for no more pin missile bugs here. No more skill link bugs. Look at that damage. And the only thing left in the back is Wobbuffet, which is always just going to immediately die to Heracross. There's no trickery here. We're just faster and we just kill. Holy. Oh. That took so long. Jesus. One more fight before Gauntlet. It's kind of demon. Oh, I just realized something. It's actually not 100% free. Um, it might come up. You'll see him. Okay, Clown can actually die. But uh, let's, let's do this first. Okay, so we kill with damage boost here. He's going to Ice Punch, most likely. We can't get Frozen because we're Magma Armor. We can't get Crit because we're Magma Armor. This should be Obstagoon, perfect for always double edge or close combat. Should never be Night Slash. Yeah. We kill with superpower, we can't die to, uh, to Night Slash crit, he has to exactly Night Slash us. Superpower will make us minus one attack so that we no longer show fast kill on Pultigeist. I'm not going to mention yet what the fiction is that can kill us. I won't speak it into existence. Should always be Poltegeist for Shadow Ball. So we go here. He has to Shadow Ball exactly, yep. We're gonna Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch always kills. He can Shell Smash, I, he can't even Shell Smash here. He has to, I'm pretty sure either, yeah, he has to Stored Power or he has to Self Destruct. So Sucker's always gonna come through. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was worried about. Actually, multiple ways now that I think about it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can get so f here.
Okay, it didn't matter. That nah, knockoff was a range, so... There's like crits, paras that could've f***ed us. But we're all good. And we can't switch there, obviously, because he's shadow tag. But, we did it. It's all good. Whew. Two kills for the Kecleon. Alright, four battles. Can't change my team in between, and the last two I can't heal in between. Oh, the Gumshoes Trainer is gonna be so f***ing scary, though. Dude, if he gets a liquidation drop, it's so f***ing over. I'll switch into Draco. First of all, hoping that he even procs my Citrus. I'll go to like 75. He's using liquidation once. I have to synth. This is a range to kill, by the way. Ah, oh, but then... <sighs> but not only does Tort need to kill this, it also needs to not be 26% or below. And now Bascule Legion HP is starting to really matter. Because we still need to confirm... Crunch from Gumshoes. I can steer it. 